What's up guys, Andy from 732MTB here. Today we're gonna be building up this Kuat MV2.0 rack and I'm gonna show you the steps that you have to go through to put this thing together and get it on your truck or car or whatever. So let's just roll the intro. We got two bodies. Oh shit, no. Got stuck right there. Thank you for coming back to the channel. Today, like I said, we're gonna be opening this box up. It's the Kuat MV2.0 rack. I'm gonna teach you guys how to install it. It's pretty straightforward. We'll go through its functions and through its uh, different capabilities as one of the best racks, in my opinion, that is uh, being produced now. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so if you wanna see more of these videos. We typically try to do you know different how-tos and um, product reviews and things like that as well as trail videos so if you like that kind of stuff go ahead and click that it might be over here I think if I'm pointing to the right area so let's go ahead and open this thing so here's pretty much basically how you receive everything you've got your trays up here you've got your uh, your hitch mount right here um, the other side of the trays are right here and pretty much some of the tools you'll need and everything that comes <laughs> with the assembly of this is in here as far as your bolts and everything yeah, let's go ahead and open this box real quick. First of all, it's a nice little envelope right here. A couple little pro tips with the lubes and locks, keep it clean, place it like an arm. And as you can see, it's a couple little tips. Welcome you to the family. A couple of stickers. There's your serial number. So here you have your straps. If you have um, plus tires or a fat bike, this is an extra strap that you're going to need to actually Get the strap all the way around that tire and rim uh, in this baggie right here. You get an Allen key, your studs and bolts to go through the actual trays that you're gonna need. Get a nice little bottle opener with the keys, and you actually get a, a hitch lock to be the foot pedal, which is gonna be used to actuate the rack up and down. This is gonna go behind the hitch, which is gonna be storage place for an Allen key, and you know also a plastic cover. And this right here is the coolest part of the rack, which is an actual built-in bike stand. The thing I am gonna mention is you're gonna wanna save these little blocks right here, because um, these are actually gonna help support the rack so it's not teeter-tottering all over the place. Okay, so now you see I have everything laid out. I'm gonna go ahead, take the actual rack. We're gonna pull out this bad boy right here. Gently, because you don't wanna scratch the actual stanchions. Um, you're gonna take that cover piece, we had before with the Allen key, and we're just going to secure this right in here. Voila, now you always have an Allen key to adjust anything on your rack whenever you need to. Second thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start getting the trays aligned. Separate your racks, um, by the way they're labeled. They're labeled by letters A, B, C, and D. And if you look on the side of that actual hitch, they'll be labeled A, B, C, and D. So pretty much it's pretty straightforward. You can't mess this up. Remember what I said about keeping this stuff? See how nice and level it is? I'm gonna take their supply jack stands. Voila. Do the same over here. Just gonna spin it till we actually get connection with the bolt. Pretty much I have this tight to the point where I can remove my supply jack stands and it's uh, pretty secure. Now you don't want to tight these bolts down, um, just tight enough to where you know you have to put a substantial amount of pressure and you know pretty much feels tight enough. These bolts are pre-treated with thread locks so you don't have to worry about these things getting loose or coming out on you. They're um, very secure and you should really be fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and install the other side pretty much the same exact way. Whoops, not the same exact way. Now, one thing I do think is worth making note of is you're gonna feel some pressure from the actual thread lock biting into the threads. 
but you want to keep tightening it until this is actually sealed so don't stop once you feel that pressure um, go a little more until it's actually sealed i mean it might go without saying but just in case the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install the foot pedal slash hand pedal um, you're going to need your foot pedal obviously and the supplied bolt and washer this is actually a, a lock washer so make sure you have that on there now this thing is as simple as it looks pretty much all you have to do is make sure the rib side this side right here is facing towards the front of the rack which would be that way take your lock washer and your screw screw it in and your money be good to go it would actuate as you can see now the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put this thing on the hitch right now now before we actually install this I want you guys to take a look at this ball what it pretty much does is it pushes up against your uh, your hitch and pretty much eliminates all of the moving and swaying back and forth that most racks usually have um, you're gonna want to take your lock make sure you line up the holes as you're installing this Pop that in there, it should lock automatically. Pull your rack back a little bit and tighten it up with the supplied Allen key. You have to go crazy on it, no bulk strength. Just uh, makes it tighten and you're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and take our uh, bike stand, pretty much. Open this little lever up right here. Slide this in. Take your other side, which is actually gonna hold the bike and just screw in. Now this is made to actually swivel, so it, it has notches to where you can loosen it up and set it in and it won't move. And it'll have a notch right here where it'll actually stay put, lock that down, and that's how you'll keep it. Now if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything you guys want to know about this bike rack be sure to leave me a comment down below help out the best i can they're they're very sturdy racks very well made kuat is usually always more than helpful when it comes to getting something fixed they always have replacement parts if anything falls out of the manufacturer specs they'll replace it for free so they're very helpful and uh, very accommodating when it comes to damages or anything like that or that let's go ahead and put these bikes on and and see what they look like and how it works let me show you the settings real quick. It has three levels to position the rack. You position it low, just to, if you need to put your tailgate down, you know, this would be the neutral position where it acts as a tray for the bikes. And then when you're done, you can always put it away and um, keep it upright. One feature I was gonna show you that this tool also works for is to lower your front trays. Loosen this up and this will actually position the bike a little lower than, than usual. Let's put open these. These are ratchet arms. So all you have to pretty much do is put it down, back tie downs. And let's get our bikes. Now this is a 29er Yeti FV130. Pretty big bike, so that's pretty much it. And this is an evil calling. Also a pretty long bike. Now one of the best features that this rack comes with is integrated bike locks. These bike locks are standard, uh, probably steel braided bike locks, but at least there's something to deter you know, thieves from, from actually trying to take anything. So what I like to do is I'll wrap it straight through the wheel and the rear swing arm, tighten it and keep your bike secure that way so it doesn't get stolen. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, check out the channel, check out all our other how-tos, some of our trail videos. And until the next Kuat video, catch you on the trails. Just a quick tidbit for every rack that you buy, Kuat makes a donation to plant trees in a forest decided by the NFF. So it's also a great way to give back, especially you know since we all use the outdoors as much as we do with the sport that we, uh, that we do. Oh, 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 oh,